Well done. The build looks nice. Ooh, pretty, right? The build looks nice too. Oh, I see what you did there. Guys, welcome. Thank you for coming over to our Stints Built YouTube page. Make sure if you're not following to go over to twitch.tv slash stints. We stream twice a week. We build PCs, whether it's a budget build, whether it's a high-end gaming build, we're building there twice a week every Monday and Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern. So make sure to pop on over and take a peek. But today, we're looking at a really nice budget build, a $1,000 PC. What can we do? What can we build? So take a look. Let me know what you think. Drop a comment and make sure to hit that sub button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for being patient with me this morning. On this Friday, Friday, gonna get down on Friday. Don't worry, I'm going right here now. Boom. Too much coffee. I love it. I'm excited. I'm excited to build today. I'm gonna try to do it every Friday, uh, every Monday and Friday. So this PC is a it's about a thousand dollar budget PC. Um, you can go and build this system for about a thousand, eleven hundred dollars or so. Um, we're doing this ship for about uh, just under twelve hundred dollars. Um, this is going to be one of our systems that we're going to feature and focus on here um, in our quick ship system. Very similar to this, a little different, um, but it's going to start with a Ryzen 5 3600X uh, or an XT. Um, it's going to come, we're going to actually upgrade the air cooler on that to the a, uh, RGB Wraith, AMD AG, RGB Wraith. So it's really good. Um, this one's going to be also rocking the, Phant the Ace Rock Phantom B550. So right there is a big thing that we're doing is we're not going to give you like a B450 board. We're not going to give you like uh, an A320M board, which a lot of builders, not, not good builders, but like pre-built companies will do. They're going to give you a system that's around the same price point that we're doing here, but they're going to put us uh, on a motherboard that's not going to be able to deliver upgrades on the line. Um, so we're going to put on a B550 Phantom Gaming 4 with Wi-Fi, uh, which is really cool. It has built-in Wi-Fi. Um, uh, we are rocking uh, 16 gigs of 3600 megahertz gui uh, Gale or Guile, sorry, Guile, 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 Evo X RAM, RGB, beautiful RAM. Uh, we're gonna rock it with a GTX 1660 Ti, uh, which is a really good card. Um, a one terabyte NVMe from Western Digital, uh, a two terabyte Seagate SATA hard disk drive, and then we're gonna rock that in the brand new Fantex Eclipse P360A. Um, really beautiful tempered glass case, micro. It's like a, it's like a it's actually like a micro, but it's not an MATX board factor. It's a mini it's a mini tower. For full ATX size, it's really compact. It's not really big. You can see here, it's not huge. Um, then we're gonna rock a 600 watt bronze power supply. It's like give you opportunity to go to like the the rumored 3060 Ti, which is coming out. You can still power that. Um, we got two RGB front fans, and we are adding a black rear um, static pressure uh, cooler master fan to the rear just to get some more airflow. So we're we're typically building these <clears throat> shipped without the without the Seagate hard drive, which is a, a, four, a fifty dollar upgrade there. Um, we're typically shipping these for about 1180 bucks. So this is our 1099 special. That's what we sell every day for 1099. Um, so, all right guys, we're gonna get started on this one. All right. How does shipping work out? I'm so scared to have big items shipped to me because I live in an apartment building. Um, we can hold it um, and make sure it's signed. We can make sure it's signed for you, Sabrina. Woohoo! yeah, they're giving us a CD still. Okay, here, let's have, let's have a conversation about this. If a manufacturer could put in a 16 gigabyte thumb drive that costs mere dollars, dollars, with upgraded BIOS, with all the drivers, instead of this. No, I'm just, I can't make things happen. I mean, <laughs> but let's be real. <laughs> Who uses this anymore? It don't even, don't even in chat say it because we're gonna ban. We're gonna ban right now. I thought about buying an external, um, an external L, like a DVD writer, just like a USB one, so I could plug it in these PCs because they do have all the drivers on those discs, but nobody's using discs anymore. So then they want you to then, what if you have an Intel driver? You have to then have to be able to install it. Not, some of these boards don't have the LAN drivers pre installed. Most of the good companies do, some of them don't. They're typically an Intel driver or they're a real tech driver. They don't have them installed. So you can't get on the internet to download the audio driver, to download the RGB software. You're, you can't even get on like a PC. You can pretty much install it and it's a brick. 
you can't install anything off the internet yet. So it's like give them a USB drive with all the drivers. It's a dollar to through two dollars more. People pay two dollars more to have that little USB drive in the box versus a god CD. Okay, okay. Motherboard manufacturers, I'm talking to you. Upgrade them. Upgrade them. Why don't they include floppy disk? Oh, okay, you know what? I'm a little spicy today, Chad, all right? I'm a little spicy. I'm a little spicy. This is the only reason I like, I like uh, Ace Rock. They put antithetic foam just to hold them when they're shipped. This is a, I mean, this is a very, look at the back, whoa. Ooh, it just got banged up a little bit. The bracket. Bracket's a little banged up on the back. Nothing too big, too crazy. <clears throat> Actually, I'm not a bad fan. The, 30, the stock 3600X had a little bit of coil wine. Ooh, Odin's beard, yes sir. It sure is. So for this one, we're using the P360A. This is a new case from Fantex. They just released it, uh, I believe about a month ago. Um, I think it's their second build in there, but it, I think we built one when they first got released. And we haven't built since. All right. All right, so the reason we like this case a lot, you guys, um, pre-install, it's got two of the Skiron, uh the, the ones that are metallic gear, the Fantex ARGB fans, they look really nice. They're pre-installed, they're really nice. This is a really good case. It's already got good airflow. We are gonna add, a, like I said, another 120 millimeter uh, static pressure fan to the back. It's a, a 1200 RPM, I think, believe from Cooler Master. Yes, 1200 RPM. Um, you can use a, AC uh, power voltages to control the uh, watts going to the fan and sync it all the way down to 200 RPMs. So you can sign that in your BIOS. Um, I'll show you. I don't really, I can't really show you how to do that. I can tell you how to do it and make recommendations on YouTube where to go to watch how to do that. But it will be able to control the exhaust of the heat in the side of the case. Um, and this is actually a really good Cooler Master fan. They're pretty nice. These are the, uh, they don't have it on here. Um, they're the GP fans, but they're like a, I think they're like a nine or 10 or 12 blade fan. They're really nice, really good airflow. Right now we're putting the back. IO in. The extra standoff. Yep, yep. So the thing about the Fantex is they also use their own proprietary size in the standoff. So you can't just like put any other standard standoff. You have to use theirs. And I don't think they give you extra. Thank you again, guys, for all the, the love and support you show me each and every day. Whether it's on Twitter, whether it's here in the streams. It means, it means a lot, it means a lot. Oh, you guys are, you gotta kill me. Showing the emotion, no emotion, Schmo, we talked about this. <laughs> oh, I've already had a, I already had a crazy week. Orders, orders are flowing in. I gotta find somebody to, find somebody to help here in the office. I mean, you're gonna try and break me on Twitch today. You and Aaron and all these gifted subs. All right, so we're just installing all the standoff screws right now. All right, all our standoffs are on. So we're gonna show you what it looks like. And then, so I like this theme. We're going for like a little bit of a gray and black theme here. This looks really good. The RAM uh, goes really well the motherboard. The Ace Rock Phantom Gaming Series is probably the most underrated. They're very stable. They're not flashy. They look They look decent. They're not like a gorgeous looking motherboard because it doesn't have all the fancy VRMs and heat sinks um, and heat shields. 
It just looks good. It just works really well. It's a very good board for budgets because it had a lot of features that higher end boards have that their like lower tier boards don't. So it's really nice. All right, so right now we're gonna look at the back of this. We're gonna flip it over and see where all the cables they gave us are. All right, so here they're giving us fan. This is their RGB connections, RGB connections to run it off their thing. This is the Italian more RGB fans. So we're gonna give case control on this one just for the, the client, because this is a younger client, if I do recall. So we're gonna give them actually front face or front control, especially because it has RGB built um, into the case as well on the side. You guys are gonna love this case. I really like this case. So hold on, we'll, we'll show you here in just a few minutes. Like all the stuff right here, when they actually zip tie, it looks really bad when zip tie just laying here. So we're just gonna undo the zips. We'll zip it all in one smaller spot so it looks more streamlined. So we're taking all these ugly zip ties out right now. All right, so now we're gonna put the power supply in. I do the power supply now, just so you can, it's easier to run all your cables. This is what, this is the first thing how to, to do is cable management, is control this. Oops, excuse me. Is control this. Control this bird's nest. Because you don't want this in the body PC, you can't, you can't organize things. So obviously take the zip tie off right away. If you reuse it, you can reuse it. You can hold stuff together if you want that you're not using. I use zip ties, and I'll show you how we do it here. Get rid of all this. So we're obviously gonna pull, so in this system, we have the, the RGB control from the controller unit on top of the case right here. That needs SATA power. We also have one SATA hard disk drive, which is the Seagate, which will be going in this tray right here in just a few minutes. So we need two SATA. So we know we're automatically gonna pull across, pull apart the things that we're gonna use and try to make it less messy. So it's easier to manage the cables right away. We're gonna use our 24 pin motherboard connection, standard on every single PC, unless you buy a pre-built. <laughs> uh, um, and then we're gonna have our four x four CPU power, which we need, well, you'll need that. Some of them have two, some of the newer higher end systems will have, we'll have a four, a four by four plus four. Um, and then here's our PCIe, this is for our graphics card, we need that. And then here are SATA, um, there's even Molex, um, but we're only gonna need one of these. So we're gonna pull this aside, and this right here is all excess. So if we can control this right away, so it's not out of your way, you can tuck it aside, zip tie it, do it. So we'll just take it, I'll show you how we do it. Kind of go here, we just need a little about eight inches or so. Take it, we'll prop, prop it up like this, we'll get it really nice and tight and neat. Like this. Look at our case and you realize that we can do like that and then we'll zip tie this right here. It's all way out of mind, out of sight, right away. Grab a zip tie. And just zip it, zip it and clip it. Clip it just like that. So there we go. This is already pre getting ready for getting it out of the way. So go over the top inside here. We'll tuck it back here in the case. You don't even see it. We only have to manage these wires. So another thing is we already know is we're only using two of these. So this will probably go to our control and this will go into our hard drive. It's gonna go like this on the bottom of the case. So all this extra, we can go like this and zip tie this so it's not it's out of the way already too. These are just ways to make the building process easier. So when you're when you have everything in, you're done. You know what I mean? There's less things you have to worry about and control. There you go. There's two things zip tied, ready to go. Then these will zip tied to the case on the back. I'll show you just some, some tips on that here in a minute. So we're gonna slide this in. Can't really see it, but we're gonna put it in here on the case. Slides right in, show you right that. It's gonna come back and just gonna tap your four screws. And we're just gonna make this faster.
So this is a build we did in what? About an hour and hour and what? Hour in what? Ten minutes? We got a couple of interruptions. Beautiful. Really clean. Here's a better, better angle. Really clean. Really clean system. Um, it's gonna be really powerful. You can game and stream on the system for like around a thousand dollars. We sell it out the door. Shipped is like eleven eighty. Um, you can build it for like about uh, I think it's about almost eleven hundred. I think it's you can build it for about eight ten eighty. So we're not we're not not charging a lot for labor. Um, and then here's the cable manager on the back that we're doing briefly. Um, it's not super hard, not super complex. It just looks sharp, looks clean, and uh, it's a good quality system. And the Fantex case is gonna stay really cool. So we're gonna boot it up right now and check her out. There she goes. So quiet. Quiet, gorgeous, I love it. I'm gonna turn off the lights just so you guys can see it. Well done. The build looks nice. Ooh, pretty, right? Bill looks nice too. Oh, I see what you did there. Guys, that's the build for today. If you like what you see, make sure to hit a like button on the video. Make sure to hit that sub button and get that notification as well. And we'll see you every Monday and Friday over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash stims every Monday and Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern time.